Yeah, yeah, I am. It, it shows <laughs> that the goods are good. It's good. So, tell us about your business. Uh, my coffee shop originally started April 1st, 2010, uh, one block away. I was there at the other Five Corners area for six years before I lost it in a fire. And it was a small, cute shop, 10 seats, three employees. But I first worked by myself for three weeks by myself because just to make some money and, you know, make a go of it. And then yeah. the fire happened and I did great there because it was small, I was busy and I was making money, right? So it was great and people enjoyed what I had to offer because I didn't have a deep fryer, but I was able to bake all my own product and make fresh soup and salads and sandwiches made fresh to order. So a lot of people really enjoyed that and I was really busy. Um, and then when the fire happened, uh, Terry and Sheila Sue, the owner of this building, which they operated um, j and grocery store for 47 years, approached me and offered me the space as they wanted to retire. So I took it, right? But I was scared. No, the, 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 the fire, well, this is because yeah. um, for the viewers out there, there was a, a massive fire that happened in 2016. Yeah, 2016. And uh, it was just diagonally across the, the street. Uh, there was a, a large apartment complex that uh, went up in flames. Thankfully, nobody uh, was seriously injured or died in that. However, it gutted the building. Yes. And it was, I think it was about 100 different oh, yeah, 100 uh, people for displaced. Sure. Yeah, displaced. And that was a, that was a real yeah. rallying moment, actually, for the, uh, the city of White Rock. Oh, yeah. And you, you can know. really see the community, how they came together yeah. and supported each other. And yeah. people were just blessed with the community support, for sure. Now, your yeah. food, mm -hmm. um, Cornelia, Italian. Italian, yeah. So is there an Italian leaning to what you make? I believe so, especially my soups, because my first thing my mother taught me was how to make a chicken stock and a beef stock. So a lot of my soups come from my mother's recipes, right? But all my baking are pretty much my own. And what's trending and what people are asking me to make. I tend to listen to them and be like, oh, can you make this okay? And okay. Then, <laughs> and then it takes off, right? So It's it's all so yeah. good, guys. Um, just for uh, the viewers out there, um, White Rock is uh, pretty much as far south as you can get in, yeah. in BC here. Uh, right across the water, when you look out, is the uh, United States of America. Yeah. Um, but uh, we're about uh, three minutes by car up from uh, White Rock Beach. So if you're visiting the area, or even if you live in the Lower Mainland, come on out, because Laura's Cafe is a staple out in the area. Everybody Thanks. who lives out here knows of you, yeah. knows your business. Uh, and Laura, you have a lovely personality. Yeah, you're always thanks. engaging with your oh, yeah. clients. I and love stuff. my. I, love, I just love this town, and you know what? I have coffee with like 500 people a day, right? And they yeah. keep continuing to support me. So it's just, yeah, it's great. And it's one of the things that I'll say is that nothing is, that I know of is pre-made or no. bought. It's all made right here on the premises. On the premises. Yeah. And My passion for sure is yeah. the baking. I love to cook, but the baking is unbelievable. Oh, it is. Yeah. I, I had the uh, peach Danish. Oh, good. And, and I'll tell you guys, this peach Danish was unlike any Danish I've ever had. Yeah. It was phenomenal. Oh, it was like you. a custard. Oh, yeah, I put a French piece for cream. Oh, my it. God, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was it was tasty, and, and it's not like a little date. Like how, they're they're like yeah, they're that. Big. They're big. Yeah. So uh, yeah, 
So, guys, come on out, check out Laura's. Uh, I'm going to put a link to her website uh, on here for you uh, and her social media. So, check it out, and if you're in the area, stop in and say hi to Laura. She has awesome little t-shirts. Oh, uh, yeah. I feel like I'm one of the crew now. You are. You know, team member. Not just a regular, but I'm part of the crew. Yeah. So, I'm pretty excited about this. Yeah. We're that proudly around town. I appreciate that. And, Thanks, uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome.